Welcome to this video where I'm going to have a quick chat through the ETF that tracks the FTSE 250 and the one that I'm going to talk about is Vanguard's VMID VMID and how do companies get on here. It all works on market capitalization so you have number 101 through to 350 sat within this index and companies do move in and out. You will get some will move up into the FTSE 100 um, and that happens every quarter where they they manage to move out and that's in march june september and december and they tend to make their money more domestically than the FTSE 100 would in previous videos i've talked about 75 to 80 percent of the of the income being made internationally with this we're probably closer to about the 60 percent mark welcome back to the channel and if you're new here hi i'm mark of desperately seeking fi but let's take a quick jump into have a quick look at what sits within this ETF. Quick overview and this is just having a quick look on Vanguard. The FTSE 250 ETF known by the ticker symbol of VMID if we were to be buying that today would be costing you £29.50 per, per stock. What's held in it? Surprisingly given away by the name it is 250 stocks and it's got an ongoing charge of 0.1 percent it sits on that risk rating of six and that's just the the synthetic risk and reward indicator this is where quite a few of vanguard's etfs actually sit in around this figure of six out of seven what is the whole objective of this fund it's once again one of these passively managed or indexing etfs that vanguard have and it is basically you would invest into this and it seeks to track the performance of the FTSE 250. Invest into mid-sized companies within the UK and it is got total assets of approximately 1.4 billion in it and it's been around for almost 10 years. It does pay a quarterly dividend. Let's have a quick look at past performance and I'm going to throw this up against the FTSE 100 and this is basically looking at there isn't that much difference between the two you see there is a bit of oscillation and a bit of breakaway but they tend to follow a similar ish movement in price and the FTSE over this year to date period is winning slightly uh, as you can see on that chart when we go out to the one year chart the FTSE 250 has been down more whereas you've got the FTSE 100 sat up at 4.47. Over the past five years, FTSE 250 is also down more than the FTSE 100 would have been. But what we need to have a quick look at is that period from the very bottom of the dip after COVID to the run up to the end of August, the FTSE 250 performed much better than, than the FTSE 100. So what is actually in the FTSE 250? It is looking at investing into Europe and surprisingly, because it's a UK index, it is looking at almost 100% in the UK with a little bit in Guernsey. And when we look at the split, it's really heavily focusing on that financial sector followed up by industrial and then consumer discretionary. That's a huge weighting towards the financial sector. And then we have a quick look at sort of the top 10 companies within the FTSE 250. There are a few in there that probably household names. So you've got the Marks and Spencers Group, Games Workshop, Greencoat, UK Wind, and also EasyJet. And then it is a quarterly paying dividend and it moves on the same time frame of the March, June, September, December payment dates. Very many of the other Vanguard ETFs and it's coming in at a 3.44% dividend yield at the end of last month. How does this actually compare to the FTSE 100? FTSE 100 running somewhere in around that 4, 4.1% 
at the moment. So if you are in this just for dividends, potentially you'd be better off going for VUKE. Have a look at this video that I've done on it. And then really important with ETFs is you are trying to get a low cost ETF. And this really is one of those lower cost ones that are on the market coming in with an ongoing charge of 0.1%. And that's well within my tolerances that I'd be looking at. So over the year, you would just be paying 0.1 of a percent. So if you had a thousand pounds, you would end up paying one pound in fees. On top of that, you, if you were to invest on the Vanguard platform, you would also have a 0.15% platform charge. But if you chose to invest in this through something like Invest Engine or Trading212, and I've got links down below, if you want the setup on those platforms, you get a free share, and so do I. Is FTSE 250 a good investment? It is a diversified index, and it is better than you going and attempting to buy all 250 of these at buy yourself. They are all, we hope, growing businesses um, that have proven to be lucrative in the past. And that comes through by looking at how much the FTSE 250 has grown uh, between 2010 and 21, where it's been going up about annually about 11.3% compared to the FTSE 100, which comes in at about an average annual increase of 7.3%. So if you look at that, FTSE 250 is the winner. But you've also got to look at how volatile this index is. So it's made up of smaller companies, which are far more volatile. They go up and down. And that's proven if you look at the chart here between August uh, 21 and September 22, the 250 drops by 30%. I think I was invested into it at that stage, whereas you're looking at the FTSE 100 dropping by about 8% between February 22 and October 22. So you've got to take that into account. If you're in this for the long term, potentially you can accept that kind of volatility, but it is something that you need to take on board and it needs to fit your own investment strategy. It is something I'm looking at at the moment, but at the current price, I think it's just run up a little bit too much at the moment. But if you got into it a little bit earlier, potentially some great rewards to be, be found. And it pays a decent dividend of about 3.44%. Worth having a look at. Drop a comment down below if you are investing in FTSE 250 ETF. Love to hear. Why not go and do some of your own due diligence on it? And why don't you go and have a look at this video that takes you through the FTSE 100 ETF for UK uh, that you can get on the Vanguard platform as well. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.